now time to get a simulated payment done. So here's the payment link and from our phone on our side, we're going to send 100 USDC. Back to Salesforce, we can either consult the inbound blockchain transactions log or go to the org wallet and look at the list of the inbound transactions on this specific wallet. And of course, since this is a test transaction, if we load the details of this transaction, you can see that it is not related to an opportunity, and that's because it's a test transaction. The box is ticked here. That's also why the fields on the right, like network, asset token, and so on, are blank. As you can see, this is an ETH Sepolia connection. If this was an ETH mainnet, network asset token and transaction value would have been set by the flow. But of course, these fields would be filled in a real opportunity. And the on-chain data here is always available, even in a test transaction. So you can see the transaction hash, the transaction timestamp, and of course, you can see the transaction on Etherscan. That's it. Outbound transactions work exactly the same way, so you exactly know how to use Web3 Enabler.